you know, I'm not too concerned that we're not, you know, there hasn't been any talks at all. Um, you know, because I'm still under arbitration, you know, so we can, you know, figure out an arbitration, you know, case and, you know, move on and, you know, see where it goes. Yeah, I think, you know, if we're able, you know, to talk and get something done in spring training before the season starts, uh, that'd be ideal, you know, especially, you know, this is an important year, you know, just like every year is, but it's another important year that, you know, we got a lot of things to focus on during the year about, you know, winning our division and, you know, winning a championship here in New York. So, you know, I don't want contract talks or extensions or all that stuff to kind of be a distraction, you know, throughout the year. So, you know, if we're able to, you know, agree to something here in spring before we, you know, head up to New York, that's wonderful. And, you know, I'd be honored and blessed. But, you know, if not, then, you know, we'll talk, you know, after the season. Aaron, how much do you want to remain a Yankee and for how long? I think I think is uh, as long as I'm playing baseball, you know, I want to be wearing pinstripes. You know, it's uh, been an honor and a blessing to be here. Um, you know, get a chance to play in this franchise. You know, be surrounded by so many great players and walk in the footsteps of so many other former great players um, that have played this game. Um, you know, there's no better place to play. You know, on this planet, and I strongly believe that. And um, you know, I've been vocal about that. You know, I want to stay here in pinstripes. So, you know, if that happens, it happens. But you know, if it comes to it that it doesn't, you know. I'll, like I've said before, I'll enjoy my memories here, enjoy my time with you guys especially and you know, all my teammates and everybody. Aaron, how much would you value being named the captain of the New York Yankees? <laughs> it, um, it, it'd be an incredible honor, you know, thinking of, you know, some of the previous um, captains of the Yankees. Uh, but I, I don't think it would change who I am or who I am as a person or who I am as a teammate or... Um, I am as a player you know I'm still going to try to go out there and you know be the best you know Aaron Chech I can be every single day you know and if you have that title I guess you know there's some more responsibility with it but you know I'm, I'm surrounded by so many great teammates so many so many good you know coaches and players and staff here that um, they make my job easy so I don't think anything will really change but it would be a you know extremely um, I'd be extremely blessed to have that honor for sure. Well, not the first time we've heard Judge talk about potentially being a captain and signing a long-term extension. What's the possibility right now? Well, Bob, he turns 30 in April, and as he said, this is his final season of arbitration, one more year before he becomes a free agent. So it's interesting because we just got finished talking about the Braves and Olsen and how Anthopolis pounced and wanted to get that deal done. As I'm listening to Judge say there haven't been any discussions yet, and you know that the Yankee front office is preparing for this season, I'm actually thinking that three weeks and change before opening day, which is when Judge said he wouldn't want to talk about it anymore, would that be enough time to execute that kind of mega deal? Historically, the Yankees haven't done that. They have let a player get to free agency and then decided if they want to try and keep that player and try and sign them. I think that these two sides want to keep this relationship together. Cashman said it the other day. Judge has said it repeatedly. And could you envision that 99 not being in pinstripe?